There are so many great events on the horizon and looking ahead, Historic Columbia is gearing up to host the 43rd Jubilee, a festival celebrating black history and culture. James Quint is the Director of Education for Historic Columbia and he joins us now with details about this family fun event. It's good to see you this morning, James. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. So tell our viewers at home a little bit about the Jubilee and why it's so important to host an event of this magnitude here in the Midlands. Well, we've been doing the Jubilee Festival for 43 years, and it's really important to kind of share the stories about African American culture and history in the state of South Carolina. And, and Jubilee, is, that's what it does. It takes place at the grounds of the historic Man Simon site, and so people can certainly learn about the history of that location. But more broadly, we bring in demonstration artists who are featuring historic trades and crafts and have live entertainment, great food. It's just a fun outdoor festival. Yeah, a fun outdoor festival that really uh, gives people a chance to learn more about the rich history, as you said, because there is such a rich history here in Columbia. Now, last year, this event was mostly virtual because of the pandemic. So this year, we're really inviting people to come out, but we want them to be safe, right? Absolutely. We've taken a number of st safety steps to make sure that when folks come out, they're going to feel uh, that they are in a safe space, that they can maintain social distancing as they choose. Um, and, and so we've done that through spacing out our vendors, uh, a little more space between all of them. Um, we are keeping the interior spaces in our historic sites closed, but we still have outdoor signage and exhibits that are gonna be available for folks. Um, all of our children's crafts are individually packaged. So when kids and families come, they don't have to worry about sharing the same crayons or markers or anything like that with other kids. You know, we're, we're keeping all of that as, as safe as we can. And because we are still in the middle of the pandemic, that is going to be, you know, in the forefront of people's minds. And you're actually collaborating with DHEC to host a vaccination clinic at this event, right? Yes, DHEC will be on site. They will have vaccinations available for folks. If you're not vaccinated yet, I strongly encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity. It's free. They're able, they have all three different kinds of vaccines available for folks. And so um, it's a great partnership. We're very excited to have them there. And, and really kind of also demonstrate just how safe we are being with the festival this year. All right, and let's run down the details. When is this taking place? It's actually coming up next month in September, right? It is on Saturday, September 18th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And again, it's free. So, you know, come on out and enjoy the time. Oh, and why I have you real quickly tell us, are there any more uh, events that are happening? Because Historic Columbia always is offering different events and activities. So how can people find out more information about what's going on around town? Just always visit our website, historiccolumbia.org, and you can learn more about all of the events that we have coming up. We have a great story time in the garden event, which is a partnership with Richland Library. It's a great chance for families to enjoy the gardens and, and participate in a, a story activity there. That one's coming up. Definitely check that one out uh, soon if you want to join that. All right. Thank you so much, my friend James. We'll put all of this information for you online at WLTX.com. Thanks for joining us today, James. Have a great day, my friend.